Hi there, I am Dr. Beth Westy, and I'm going to be talking about digestion, how to break down proteins, how to get the most out of your digest digestive system. So, jumping right in, so this is a you know an image of your digestive system, right? It's not a scale, I'm not an artist, but here is essentially a tube that all the food that you eat passes through and goes in and then out. This is lined with um, these little cells, microvilli, which are finger-like projections that help increase the surface area so that you can absorb more nutrients as it's broken down in your system. Now there's other uh, digestive enzymes that are released and there's other pro you know, probiotics and things in here, bacteria that help break things down. There's the mechanical things that help break down food, great. But we're gonna talk about nutrients and food and specifically protein and how to make sure that you're absorbing the most protein from what you're eating. So a lot of times when people are trying to get healthier, um, I'm gonna get healthy, I'm gonna get fit, I'm gonna get strong, all these great things, super duper. I'm gonna eat more protein, yes. Making sure that you're getting protein that your body can digest and absorb is really, really key. So when we talk about proteins, make sure that you're getting one, a very wide range of proteins because there's different amino acids in different sources of protein. So things from animal proteins to plant-based proteins, you know, everything. So you're gonna look for things that are found in beef, found in, um, you know, chicken and turkey, there's different amino acids in there. Pork, different amino acids in pork than there is in chicken, right? So if you're want, really wanting to build some good muscle and really get fit and, and really focus on these goals, it's important that you're incorporating these, these in, in a different routine day to day. Not eating the same thing every day is, is really important and pays off. Um, beans, legumes, um, uh, peas, you know, all these things, right? There's different sources of protein, dairy products, uh, cottage cheese, you know, cheese, oh, Greek yogurt, right? Lots of protein, great. But making sure you're getting a wide range all day every day is gonna be the first thing to do. Super, okay. But when we talk about proteins, um, there, it's also important to realize what's in your, what you're getting and then how your body's breaking it down. So when we look at the size of protein molecules, we're gonna just really briefly talk about, again, this is not to scale necessarily, but just to give you an idea, a soy protein molecule is the largest protein molecule, molecular weight, in the human diet. So to break that down, it takes a lot of work. And when you eat food, your digestive system actually takes the most energy out of anything to break down your food. And then when you add huge proteins in, if you're eating a lot of this, it's gonna be really tough. One, energy-wise, but two, to actually break mechanically break that apart so it's small enough to absorb. The next phase here where we've got these proteins, these are going to be whey proteins. Um, these are going to be any other meats. Dairy is in here as well, all dairy products, things like that. The tiny ones are pea proteins, hemp proteins, rice proteins. Very, very tiny so your body has an easier time breaking down and digesting these types of proteins. So on the other hand, if you are noticing that, hmm, I'm really having a hard time eating a lot of protein because it's upsetting my stomach, I know I'm not breaking it down properly, really take a scan of what you're getting in your body and think, mm, okay, maybe I should take a break over here and really focus on some of these smaller plant-based proteins and that'll give my body an easier time and it'll be easier in my digestive system because when you're getting really large proteins in all the time, it can actually disrupt how well and how easy those cells work, which is gonna affect how well it can absorb into your bloodstream and how well you can use those nutrients. So again, when you're looking at a label of a product that says, oh look, there's 20 grams of protein in here, super duper. But are you actually breaking that down and absorbing it and using it? and not if it's a really large protein, right? So it's all about the bioavailability of those proteins. Bioavailability meaning your body can actually recognize it and use it. Very key number to, to remember here, the number 20, 20 grams of protein is the number that your body needs to actually start protein muscle synthesis. So if you're getting some type of um, snack or meal or whatever, you wanna make sure you're at least hitting that 20 grams, at least hitting that 20 grams. Then you have enough, because every cell in your body uses proteins. You wanna get enough protein in so that your body actually starts to build and use muscle. That's the biggest key. 
All right, that's the information I got for you guys right now. Let me know if you do have questions. Don't hesitate, message me. I'd be more than happy to chat more about how to absorb and digest more protein.